Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In the previous video, we have seen how we can perform autocorrelation, cross correlation in MATLAB, and how we can develop the data set for preparing a good hydrological model. So, in this video, we will see how we can uh, develop an artificial neural network model with the original data set having two variables as input and the target variable also with the lag data sets with a total of 12 as input and one as output so let's get to the video and see how we can develop this model so if you remember from the previous videos which I have explained in detail how we can develop an artificial neural network model and also I have explained each line of the code what each thing represents so let's directly get into it and run the model so if you see here the first thing after come uh, function is what we use to run the model you should keep in mind that you are in the same uh, path where this code is so let's just start where ip is the input so first we will do the model for two inputs and one target so we'll take around 3000 assuming it's almost uh, uh, seventy percent, comma, first two rows as input. In the target for the training, we give one is to three thousand rows, comma third column is the training output, and for the testing output, we give three thousand one is to and comma. 1 is to 2. Here we'll take the standard 10, which is a normal uh, neuron value, and we'll check it. I'll run this model only once, and the training, the testing target is 3001 is to 1, comma, third column. So this will be our training input and training out our data target. This will be our testing input, number of neurons, the number of times I want the model to run itself, and the target for the testing set. So when we press enter, the model is running. We see here you can see it's running until it satisfies one of the above conditions which we mentioned which again I have explained in the previous uh, videos in the channel you can check it out if you have not checked it I'll put it in the description and also it has calculated the error components using the code which we have uh, used so let's directly see the results. So in the training results, if we see the main things which I want to compare here are the first three elements. So in the training set, the correlation of the data is 0.94. This is because we are giving it the output also. So it compares with the output and trains the data. So the correlation is bound to be high. The Nash value is 0.89, it's good, but the RMSC value is still uh, not pretty good. But let's see how the testing goes. In the testing set, if we see uh, compared to the training, the correlation and uh, other values are quite low, it is obvious. 
because you are training the set based upon the first 3000 and asking the model to represent the next 1000 or so so yes the value is not pretty low we can take anything about 0.7 we can accept it saying the model is doing good although it is not perfect uh, one thing a person can do while doing this is if you see this this is the data right we will plot it so if you see the data it has quite a number of uh, peak values up to 3500 meter cube per second so what we are doing is we are training until here almost until here yeah we are asking it to predict so it is not a pretty bad model because we are already uh, we are covering the peaks sometimes what happens is uh, you make the model without uh, with you train the model without any uh, discharge of reference having a higher peak and you want to predict it and it cannot predict but in this case uh, we are training it with pretty good data set so let's do one thing we will try to run the model again with different number of neurons as i've mentioned in previous videos as well you can uh, try with number of neurons and try to find the best value let's try 11 it's running again okay now if we see if you remember the training value 10 was quite good it was having 0.9 but here we have 0.86 so it represents the 11th neuron is not pretty good but still we'll do one thing we will try 12th as well just to check if it's still going down or not remember testing is 0.86 and training is 0.86 if you see from here itself we understand that rmsc value is increasing quite a lot although you see the correlation is uh, 0.92 but when you go to the testing uh, value the nash value went pretty low before it was 0 0.7 now it went to 0 0.5 so this represents that if you as you are increasing it's decreasing so you can try uh, remember this value again 0 0.92 and 0 0.85 now we will try 9 neurons and see sometimes what happens is uh, even though you are changing the neurons there might not be a better improvement so you can fix the neurons in the uh, section where you are getting the better result so if we see here 0 0.93 and 0 0.88 so let's do one thing we will write it based upon number of neurons and uh, then we will see if ninth neuron we will go from 10 9 8 and then see if it's working or not correlation nsc rmsc this is for training So the same thing here. So now we are doing for nine. So let's write nine here. And if you see in training, it's point nine three, point eight eight, and five thirty nine. Point nine three, point eight eight, and five thirty nine. In terms of testing it's 0 0.9282 and 672 
and the opposite. Let's do one thing, we will put it here itself for better comparison. This one is training. This is testing. Just copy paste. Yeah. 0.928272. Point nine two eight two six seventy two. So you see at nine neurons, this is what we have now because we did not save the tenth neuron, we will just run it again. You have to remember in neural networks again is that for every run of the model, it develops a new relationship. So you get a new result. It does not mean that now you have 0.92 in the next run you'll have better or uh, the same. It might be lower as well. So if we check the result 0 0.93865571. 0 0.93.8 so we will see in testing as well 928463 so if you see here the correlation are same the ns is lower but when we go into the testing values can see 0.82 for this and 633 so here we have kind of a tight competition we say we can do one thing here for the sake of uh, this modeling part we will save these two and we'll check how the model with uh, more number of data sets is performing